Hey lovelies, so this week I really wanted to focus on discussing what your energy is trying to tell you. So we've touched on energy before, remember it's the bubble around you, it's an energy ball and you're always receiving signals from your energy to give you an indication of what's good for you, what's not so great for you, what's going on around you, maybe you haven't picked up you haven't seen it, you haven't heard it, but your energy's picked up on it. And I really just want to make you aware that your energy body is always around you. So it goes out beyond you. So it is like a ball that is always around you and enters the room first, communicates with someone first, has all of your life experiences first. And it's, for me, sharing knowledge and information with people really it's all about getting you back in touch with your energy system because when you're in natural flow so by natural flow i mean you're feeling good you're doing things that make you feel good life is good for you when you are in that then everything just rolls really well and you find the solutions to problems and answers come and there may be things that come up to challenge you but you deal with it you find a way of dealing with it and life goes on when you're not so in flow, life can kind of take over, can get out of control perhaps and go on a downward spiral. So being in touch with your energy and your energy body is one of the ways of dealing with this. So I really want you to be aware of the signals that you are getting. So my best example and anyone that's been to a workshop will have heard this before is imagine yourself in a social setting. So it may be that you're at a party or at a networking event, somewhere where you are meeting people you don't know. And say you get introduced to someone and you instantly want to kind of recoil from them and take a step back, move your physical being away from them. That is an indication of your energy naturally, subconsciously, in flow with the universal energy, connecting to their energy and saying, actually, mm, there's something here I'm not quite so keen on. And that's a really powerful thing because you are an amazing energetic being. You're pick, constantly picking up signals. There's signals all around you all the time. And you might get a sensation of, oh, I feel something, but no. And your conscious mind will probably talk you out of it. No, how could I possibly know that? That's silly. You know, that doesn't fit in with what I'm thinking or with what society says or whatever the thing is. But going back to the example of when you meet someone. So sometimes you meet someone and you instantly go, hmm. That is something to listen to. And that is, I'm not saying that's the only way your energy will communicate with you because that's not true. But it's a really good example because most people have had that experience where they've met someone and it's been a bit like you instantly feel like, I'm not so sure about you, but you can't put your finger on why. You've had no reason to have this sensation. So you'll probably talk yourself out of it. And it may turn out that then you get to know that person, you become friends with that person. And then later on, there's an issue and you think, you know what? That time when I had that sensation, when I first met you, I probably should listen to that. So I really want you to get in touch with those signals that your energy is giving you constantly, every second of the day. You don't need to get overwhelmed by it because it can be a bit much. There's a lot going on. You don't want to become like anxious about your energy. That's not what we want. But it's just to pick up on the signals. So there's a really good, some of you may have seen it, some may not, film called The Celestine Prophecy. You can get it on YouTube for free. And in that there is a scene which indicates how energy communicates with energy. So my energy will communicate with you, yours with the next person. And in it, you can see the energy as colours. It's a really good film to watch because it really puts this into practical perspective and you can kind of get an understanding of how it plays out in reality. What is energy actually like? I'm telling you to imagine it as a ball around you, which you may be able to do and you may find a little bit difficult doing. And those instances like when you meet someone and you instantly want to sort of move your physical self back. That is really because your energy, there's layers and layers and layers of your energy going out beyond your physical self and that's why when you get a health issue and it manifests in your physical being it's like the tip of the iceberg because that issue that problem that has led to that has been within your energy system for a really long time it could be it's been there for a day it could be it's been there for years you know it depends on the issue but that's another thing we'll talk about another time what i really just want you to focus on is getting in touch with those signals that you're getting so when you get a thought like oh i know this Try not to question it. Try not to talk yourself out of it. Hear what it is. 
see how it plays out in reality and then you can start to get an understanding of what is my energy and my intuition telling me and if you are someone that suffers with anxiety like most of you will know that is how that is my experience in life I have suffered with anxiety to different levels over the years when I was at my most anxious I would sort of be talking myself out of it thinking well how can I know what's anxiety and what's my gut see how it plays out make a note of it journal it like everything else like with your crystal journey and you know so say you're driving somewhere and you think oh I should go that way but Satnav is sending me to go that way and then you follow Satnav because that makes logical sense and then it turns out that you get stuck in a two-hour delay then make a note of that you know I had this sensation this feeling this gut reaction this intuitive thought that I should have gone this direction I didn't listen to it and I ended up going that way and getting stuck in traffic you know there's always a reason for everything but I really just want you to get in touch with those sensations so that you can utilize them because it can make your life so much easier if you have the knowledge that is within you you are listening to the signals you are hearing your energy trying to prod you to say this is going on you know listen like when you meet someone and it's like that oh it's because your energy has picked up something in their energy that's not compatible and you might not know what that is for potentially years if you carry on getting to know that person or you might trust your energy enough to go you know what I'm just not going to really get to know that person too closely could know them but I have to bring them too close into my circle so I really just want you this week this blog this video is going to focus on tapping into what your energy is trying to tell you hearing it appreciating it and then starting to use it value it utilize it and live a really healthy happy life that is in flow